before we get out of here, some notable signings. Uh, notable signings. The notable Giants in, in, signed in quotes. James Robinson, formerly of the Patriots, very short stay with the Patriots. The Ravens signed Melvin Gordon, formerly of the Chiefs, to a one-year contract. Giants signed wide receiver Cole Beasley, of course, was with the Bills. Uh, the Bills signed Andy Isabella, who was with the Ravens. And Jimmy Graham just appears out of nowhere okay. back with the Saints. Wow, so, what a list. Right. So I will tell you, the only really truly interesting one here is Melvin Gordon. Obviously, as we talked about J.K. Dobbins, like right. again, we've seen the Ravens, whether it was Devontae Freeman or uh, Latavius Murray or um, there's somebody else that I'm forgetting. Like, I mean, they, they've, they've, they've had a lot of different reclamation projects over the years that they've had success with. That offense is going to be high scoring. I think especially if this J.K. Dobbins situation uh, drags on a little bit, Melvin Gordon becomes a very interesting late round pick. The other name there that's interesting um, to me, you guys might be a little surprised, is Cole Beasley. Okay. Cole Beasley, no, seriously, Cole Beasley playing the slot where Daniel Jones is comfortable throwing, reunited with Brian Dayball, his coach, his offense coordinator in Buffalo for four years. I, I know they have eight billion slot receivers in New York. <laughs> so I know. Strange. They I know a they, Cadillac Escalade with them. They, they yeah. do, but like, here's a, like, Cole Beasley was retired. Like basically, and then he came back to came back to the Bills a little bit. But I had heard a rumor last year that Cole Beasley, that Dayball called Cole Beasley last year and said, and I think this was at the beginning of the year, "Hey, I'm going to New York. Come with me. You're going to catch 100 balls." This is a rumor that I heard, not yeah. from Dayball. I heard somebody <laughs> said this to me, yeah. and you know, come to New York, you catch 100 balls with me. You know what I mean? And Cole's like, "No, no, no. I'm going to wait it out, wait it out, whatever." And then ultimately ended up, you know, signing with the Bills and did whatever and like. Um, like, wasn't he with the Bucks for a minute, you know, as well? Yeah, I feel very like. weird. <laughs> right um, but anyway, but the fact of the matter is, is that he's somebody that has had a lot of success with Brian Dayball. And that while, yes, the Giants have 8 billion slot receivers, they don't have a lot that have the track record that Cole Beasley does in the NFL. Mm -hmm. and, and so, again, their big offseason signing was Darren Waller. Right? And, you know, I don't know that you, you feel great about Sterling Shepard's health. You know, obviously, who's he's struggled. So, I'm just saying, it would not shock me if we're in the middle of October and we're talking about Cole Beasley as a reasonably useful PPR wide receiver three or four. That's all I'm saying. Like, we're talking, like, whatever. Like, there's a list of, like, whoever's, right? Who knew Jimmy Graham was still playing? He was one of the big years. The biggest thing about that he's is flying planes. those kind of signings, it's mainly, it just serves the purpose of like, oh, he's alive and well, yes, and yes. Yeah, and he's still doing okay. I literally flying planes. I, I, <laughs> I legitimately thought when I saw the notification, this is a true story, I don't mean to be disrespectful because Jimmy oh. Graham is a first ballot Hall of Famer, but like when I saw the notification, I'm like, oh, that's nice. Like it's going to be a one-day contest. <laughs> yeah, everybody They're going to retire his jersey. He's going to retire as a saint. That's right. That's how it should be. Yeah. And they're like, wait, oh, no, they, he's they want to play football. Yeah, he's in the red zone package. Like, anyway, yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> Do they understand? Like, they, we have yeah. Juwan Johnson chairs yeah. over here. Like, um, did you think I, in your head, no way, Monfray? No, yeah, I did. No way, Monfray. Like, no way, Monfray. <laughs> I will also say this. So the last thing I want to say here is our producer, Damian Dabrowski, my dear friend, Damian Dabrowski, who worked with me at ESPN for so many years, and I'm in many leagues with him, including a dynasty league, is the world's biggest Andy Isabella fan. <laughs> Loves. Lo his dynasty team was named after Andy Isabella for years, so years and years and years. There's no other than Mama Isabella, and it's a close, it's close there. Who loves Andy more, Damien or Mama Isabella? And I'm just telling you right now, that that signing was notable to one person and one person only, and his name's Damien Dabrowski. Not even Andy Isabella <laughs> thought he was getting signed, but Damien Dabrowski is very exciting. So other than Damien, literally it does not matter. All right. That wraps up the, quite the, quite Do you the disagree? <laughs> uh, no, not at all. Listen, Dalton Kincaid's playing the slot for the Bills. Thank you. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And and they've secured there as well. Yeah, they've a quite bit. a few slot. Right. And, and honestly, I think they're going to go. They're going to go. Kincaid's the slot guy, but Dawson Knox is still going to be is going to be the traditional tight end. For sure. They're going to play twelve personnel like a lot this year. Yep. And Kincaid's going to basically be a, a a slot receiver, and Dawson Knox is going to be like the tight end that he was last year. And then you've got Diggs and Gabe Davis on the outside. Sorry, right? Andy Isabella, but we just kind of wrote you out of the offense entirely. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, yeah, he's <laughs> like, I'll be amazed if he makes There's no one the arguing team. here. Yes, no, I'll be amazed if he makes the team. We're going to end the show so I can ask Damien Dabrowski with his yeah, Andy well, Isabella yeah, well, the origin story, came The origin from. story of the yeah. UMass great Andy yep. Isabella. That's It'll it for us. Tell you. you will be in Canton when we are back on Wednesday. Yes, sir. 
Thursday night, NBC and Peacock announcing the ride or die on football night in America. Andy Isabella. We are and back, baby. It is. Spoiler. Andy Isabella not on the list. Spoiler alert, it's Andy Isabella. No way, Monfrey. <laughs> Peace out. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotoworld, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.